scores a goal. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. Since you've played pretty well with all the points. Welsh wanted it long. It's set up for him to fly. It's an anyway. I don't know who's going to claim it. Is it Gill? Is it Hudson? I think it's Gill. I think Gill probably. I catch it was Hudson. He can't miss from here. Surely had a. <laughs> He'll be feeling a little nervous as he wanders in, but surely he can't miss from there. Goal either way would be crucial. Paul Pleasure wrapped up, got it to Burton. Free kick out of late advantage play on Edwards to Gill. Gill's away, question of accuracy. Kick going close. Kick is good. Close with a three goal lead. Just take a few months off as Goodwin kicks to half forward and Gill is on the lead and can look about closing that door again. Halfway through the final term, can the fourth gamer deliver a priceless goal? Now Riley, he's got the long kick to Gill, who's feeding back. Got a very good kick off the boot in the first quarter to register uh, a goal. What am I talking about? Clark, I got him mixed up because he's a raffle as well with the boot. And he pulls out the winning ticket. Nick Gill kicks his first. An hour remains for the Crows. They need their best stuff now. When I say an hour, that's in the qualifying rounds. If they hold the key to their own future. Gill went back hard. Rashid out of Gill. Open goal. What a start. Only Adelaide, surely, inside the forward 50. Oh, terrific by Gill. <laughs> Gives it a ride. Good-looking effort, as confident as you watch. Looking lively early, the Crows. Burton chips it short. And just the bare 15 metres. And what a story this man has in joint in season 2007 Nick Gill in just his seventh game well this has been his uh, his Achilles heel in somewhat isn't it with a shot for goal so a confidence boosting start would be to kick it not the best kick he's kicked five six from six set shots but make it six six the Crows have a couple of early ones Shirley Gill's on the move Flies and it's got it. I can get three within three minutes. Well, this assists. We'll go back and slot. This one's a great start on his return. He fists the air. It barely left his boot and he knew it was home. Adelaide by 14. NC levels at the moment. The Crows box handball through the congestion to find Edwards off to Gill, who just bangs it on the boot for a vacant goal square. It bounces. It bounces through. Goal to the Crows. They're in front. That's time of the line. And went back over again. It's a goal. Adelaide running in number. Bassett storming down towards half forward. Open goal square. Gill stays on his feet. And that was the difference. The player was falling. The umpire just a duty. This is his weakness though. This area right here. Not this time. Nick Gill gets the goal. On dangerous side earlier. She did that well. Gill. All the forwards. In fact, this is probably the worst half of footy they've played this season. And so many options, again in evidence there, breaking down that far side. Now Gill gives it a ride. That's not his strongest component kicking, and yet he's got it from 50. Oh, he's lost him again. Yeah. Danger field, just easy as you like to the lead of Gill. And run long to play on Nick Gill. Tight angle inside 50, looks pretty good off the boot. Has he got enough on it? He's yeah. better than a workhorse. Umpire in good position. Another goal to the Crows. That's a wonderful finish from Nick Gill. Ball tumbling forward for Adelaide. Oh, Stevens punching guy. it well. Here's Gill. Can he kick another one? High, wide, but handsome. It was a kick down the line like that. Well, they did. They got the desired result. They got the footy, but they turned it over. Just a messy handball. Yeah, keep running. And here's here. Gill. Oh, oh, look, this might go through. Bounce. It could be the ugliest the goal we've ever seen. Oh, yeah, it's magnificent. <laughs> That's not in the textbook, but it's his third. Gill with three. Clearance. Look at that. 
Riley, long, here's Gill. Oh, oh, free, free kick. kick. Against Ryder. All right, let's see. He might kick this one with his knee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's backed in yet. Not yet, yeah, but it's an opportunity. Oh, yep. Yes, yes, he hooks it around. He continues to dazzle at the dome. He's got four. Giving off to Nathan Bott. Wants to get in on the action with a goal. Couple of bounces. Outside 50. Yeah, kicks to the girl. square. Oh. Here he is again. He won't miss this one. He couldn't. No. He won't. Lovely finish from Nick Gill. Five goals. Gets to his feet. Hits it long. Pack forms. A big lead. Oh. What a supermark, Nick Gill. Oh. In the wet weather, he's oh. taken a screamer. Had his name written all over that. Just the launch, that's the beauty about our game. Go for it, son. Took a launch and he took a mark with a wet ball. Well, that's got to be a, that's got to be a contender. It's given the conditions, a boys. His kicking is sometimes questionable. We've seen that happen. He'd love to put this through. He kicks it behind. He's a crowd favourite, and that's the reason why. Let's go down to Lee Colbert. Yeah, the crowd are up and going now here at Amy. But there it's. It's Fraser out of the picture. There's Thompson hacking it forward to Gill. Says if you win clearances, you tend to score, particularly here at Amy Stadium. Forget history. Let's talk about the present. It's a goal to the Crows. Just under 40 seconds. Long ball. Oh, Stevens oh, took the mark, got front contact, and he is in oh, some sort of trouble, I think. Well, I don't know whether Gill should be taking the kick or not, whether he should have quickly given yeah, it to someone reckless. else. His eyes weren't on the ball, so it was reckless. It will be 18 going into the half as Gill comes in and slots the goal through. So Gill gets his first goal of the afternoon. The clock stops at eight seconds. One by 24 points over the Fremantle Dockers. 15-14, 104 to Fremantle, 11-14, 80.